Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another pregnancy update. I am currently 32 weeks and five days pregnant, but the day that you guys are seeing this, I will be 33 weeks pregnant. So only seven weeks away from my due date. I feel like I have a lot to update you guys on today, but before we get started, if you guys are new, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And if you guys are not already, I would love it if you would subscribe down below and join my YouTube family and follow along my pregnancy journey and then my journey going into being a mom of two. So the first thing that I will share with you guys is I did have to go to the ER the other day. Well, I went to the ER and they just sent me up to labor and delivery triage because I am so far along. So they sent me right up there. The reason I went is because I was unable to eat or drink anything. Even when I drink water, I would just throw it back up. So all day, on Sunday, I could not eat or drink anything and I just did not feel good. I did not feel myself. I was just pretty much like laying on the couch doing nothing all day long. I napped for a good like three hours Sunday morning and I was just not myself at all. And like I said, I couldn't eat or drink anything. So around five o'clock Sunday evening, I decided I was going to go to the hospital and just get everything checked out because I felt like I was starting to get really dehydrated and I knew that was not good for the baby or myself. So I wanted to go and have them like check me out, see if anything else was going on and just help me to feel better. So when I went in, they said I definitely was dehydrated and my heart rate and baby's heart rate was super duper high. Her heart rate when I went in was around like 175 and this whole pregnancy, she's been around like 149, 150 has been her heart rate through my entire pregnancy. So that was way high for what it normally is for her. I don't remember what mine was, but I know they said it was higher than normal. So they just gave me an IV with fluids. I think I got about two and a half bag of fluids while I was there. They also gave me some nausea medicine and then they gave me medicine for just some Tylenol for my back pain as well. Because all day Sunday I had the worst back pain in my, just like my lower back area. I've been having that all through pregnancy, but on Sunday especially, it was just so much worse than what it has been normally. So they did give me some pain medicine and like a heating pad while I was there just to help with that, just so that I could be a little bit more comfortable. I think around like one and a half bags, they brought in some water and some crackers for me to eat to see if I could eat and drink anything and like hold it down. So I ate some graham crackers and I had some water while I was there and I started to feel so much better. By the time I got through my second bag of fluids, I just felt completely normal again. I felt re-energized. Her heart rate started to go down and she started to move around a lot more because also Sunday, I guess because I was dehydrated, she wasn't moving around and being as active as she normally is. So she started to get more active. Her heart rate went down. My heart rate went down and I could just tell like we were both starting to feel better. So after my second bag, they started to discharge me. They gave me some nausea medicine to go home with. And I took that for the next couple of days just to make sure that I was still able to eat and drink and stay hydrated like I need to. But that was no fun. I did not want to go. I did not want to be there as long as I was there. But I'm glad I did go and started to feel better and make sure that she was okay. They monitored her the whole time I was there. So once I got back home, it was like, I think it was around 11 p.m. that I got back home. When I was changing into my pajamas, I noticed that I had broken out in a huge rash all down my legs. And I know I've talked about this before. I had this rash earlier on in my pregnancy and I also got the same rash during my first pregnancy. And I was just broken out all in my legs. I had these like huge, like ginormous size like bumps all over my legs and it was red and itchy. And it was horrible and I don't know I don't know what it's from. They've never really figured out why I get this rash when I'm pregnant, but I was broken out in the rash. So I took some Benadryl and I was able to go to bed. When I got up Monday morning, I broke out the rash again, but I couldn't take Benadryl because the Benadryl I had taken, you could only take one tablet in 24 hours. So I couldn't take another one. So I just had to like deal with this horrible rash that I had until it finally like went away. And I did feel a little bit better on Monday. I still took my nausea medicine just to help me eat, but I was able to eat and drink. And I was still kind of not feeling the best, so I just kind of hung out of the house all day, 
JJ and I just like cuddled on the couch and watched TV. We didn't really do anything that day. But today is now Wednesday and I'm pretty much feeling back to myself. I am super tired all the time now. Like the past few days I've been taking naps when JJ naps and just resting a lot. But other than that, I'm feeling pretty back to normal today. I've been eating a lot better, drinking coffee, drinking a ton of water. Like I am just chugging water all day long. But I definitely think my body is getting ready for labor. She dropped yesterday, which is so early. So my first pregnancy with JJ, he did not drop until 36 weeks and then he was born at 40 weeks. So he dropped four weeks before he was born. And so she dropped at 32 weeks and four days. So I think she is gonna be coming here in maybe like three to four weeks. I think she's gonna come early. I don't think I'm gonna make it to my due date with her. I definitely feel like my body is getting ready for labor and she's getting ready for labor. And honestly, I just cannot believe that she already dropped. Like I didn't even wanna believe it yesterday when I noticed that my belly was lower. I was like telling myself that I was just imagining it until my husband came home from work and he was like, she is way lower than she was like yesterday. So she's definitely dropped. And another reason I could tell for sure that she dropped was I was having a lot of diarrhea, which I know happens when the baby drops and they get lower. I've been having to go to the bathroom more often, which is also a sign of like the baby dropping also. So lots of signs that she dropped and I can just tell when I look at my belly that it is so much lower than what it was. I have been having a lot more Braxton Hicks contractions, which I think is also just because of her dropping on, on Sunday when I felt so bad. I had a ton of contractions Sunday, like Sunday morning time, I had just a ton of contractions and then probably about two hours or so they stopped. But the past couple of days, especially yesterday and today, I have definitely been having more contractions than what I've had so far in my pregnancy. So I just know everything is just getting ready for her to come and also like i said i've been drinking a ton of water like literally the only thing i want to drink is water like non-stop all day long i just want to drink water and i remember that happening a few weeks before i delivered my son that all i wanted was water my body didn't want anything else it was just telling me i needed to just hydrate 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 and get ready for labor and i think that's kind of what my body is doing right now so yesterday i had after I realized she dropped and everything, I just had like the biggest urge that I needed to pack our hospital bags because I hadn't done that yet. So yesterday I packed her hospital bag. Today I started working on my hospital bag and probably over the next few days I will finish packing mine and pack JJ's overnight bag because when I go into labor, he's probably gonna go to one of our friend's house and stay with them. They're gonna keep him while I'm in labor. So I need to pack all of his stuff so that Whenever I do go into labor, we can just grab our bags and run out the door to the hospital. So I did that yesterday and today a little bit. And last night I was like full on nesting. Let me tell you, it was like seven o'clock at night and I started, I pulled everything out of the refrigerator and like deep cleaned the entire refrigerator. I, my husband took the trash out and so I like scrubbed down our trash can so it looks like brand new and then i just like picked up the house like normal did dishes thing normal daily things that i always do but i did it all last night at like seven o'clock at night i was just on like this kick to clean and get everything ready so i just feel like there are so many signs saying that she's gonna be here in the next few weeks and i know it's early and it's kind of a little nerve-wracking to think about her coming before her due date, but I know that I'm far enough along that she will be healthy and she will be strong and it's not so early that we have that we have to really be concerned about anything serious. So if she does come in the next like three or four weeks, then I just want to make sure we're ready. So I'm just crazy nesting and crazy getting everything ready for her. But those are like the biggest changes lately. Just within the past few days, all this stuff is happening. I cannot sleep anymore. Like ever since she dropped like in the middle of the night two nights ago i just like cannot sleep i have the worst back pain ever like it is so it is so much worse than what it has been through my pregnancy and it is just making it so hard to sleep like i cannot get comfortable and when i do wake up in the middle of the night to use the bathroom i just can't go back to sleep so i feel like i'm not getting any sleep these days 
So I've been napping in the middle of the day when my son naps to try to catch up on some extra sleep because I'm just like so worn out. I'm so tired. I also keep having this I don't know if it's like an irrational thought or some kind of like mother intuition. I have no idea. Maybe I'm just overthinking everything because I'm definitely that person who overthinks everything. But every time I use the bathroom, I keep thinking I'm gonna lose my mucus plug. So with my first pregnancy, I lost my mucus plug, I think a week before I went into labor. Maybe like a little bit less, I'm not sure. I don't remember exactly, but I don't know. I just keep having this like, I just keep having this thought that I'm going to lose my mucus plug like any time now and I don't know if that's like a sign that it's coming or if that's just me like overthinking everything but that's just like how I feel right now. But yeah, I just thought I would kind of jump on, update you guys on what's going on because I don't know how many more pregnancy updates I'm going to do so I'm really going to try to do one every single week just to keep you guys updated, to share what's going on and then have this footage to look back on for myself to kind of like remember this time later down the road. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's update. Hopefully it wasn't too much TMI for you guys, but it is pregnancy and it is getting real and it's getting so close to labor and I'm excited and scared and just all kinds of emotions going on right now. But I will show you guys my belly. You guys can probably tell that she's like a lot lower. Okay, so here is the bump. So I don't know if you guys can tell like how much lower she is. I can fit like my whole hand here like flat, but she is so much lower. And I feel like I just got so big in the past couple of days. So, well, that is it for today's update guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to leave it a thumbs up, subscribe down below if you're not already. And I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye.